Hello from Slovenia again. Today I will do, <coughs> I will show you three ways that I like to use marbles in my fluid art paintings and probably it will turn out if it will work as I thought that it would. It would be, it would end up like a triptych. So first one, I will do one that I keep a lot of negative space. So uh, that's why I want to have my base coat, my canvas board. I use 10 by 10 inch canvas boards today just to practice this a little bit because I have this idea idea in my head and I have one quite big commission piece to do so but not with these colors but I just had some of this Amsterdam Naples yellow green left so I will use this one and my colors and I will do I will go more purposely or how can I say you can do you can almost kind of draw with your marble so depends what you are going for of air bubbles today uh, so I will do some little puddles with my colors maybe three like this and one here and maybe one here and I will try to create kind of a flowery look or how can I say um, I will try to have those like leaves or um, flowers or something you will see when I will roll my marble. This was Prussian Phthalo Amsterdam and this is uh, Amsterdam Red Violet Light. I have kind of a little vintagey look in my head, I don't know. And I have, the well, first one was PBO Iridescent Blue Green and this one that I use now is PBO Iridescent Yellow Green. Green Yellow. Yellow Green, I don't know. Just to brighten this a little bit, or how can I say? And the last will be permanent blue violet Amsterdam. I don't know about this color combination, we will see. And now I will grab my marble and play with it. I will try to connect this in kind of a stem and do some kind of flowers here, we will see. And here I will keep some negative space, but not 
a lot. So what I will do is I will do four puddles of this light green that I had for my base here in the middle. Okay, and now I will do just four puddles of paint, so I hope that I will keep a little of this base too, not just, you know, puddles, colors from puddles, or how can I say? So this is the second one with a lot more it's hard with this cardboards sides I'm so used to canvases just have to correct this a little bit with the second one and I like this order of colors more I switch the order because uh, I kind of didn't like it the first the first time that I did it so I will put this one aside too and then I will show you the all four at the end all three, did I said four? Wrong. So, the last one. Here I will, on the third one, I will do a lot of colors and not a lot of negative space. So, I will do five puddles of colors and do add just a little of the base. So, and maybe I will do two rows, I will see, two, I don't know if I have enough paint for two rows of paint, three, four,
Okay, I obviously have a lot, enough of paint. I did two rows and now I will use a marble. Uh, I just thought because uh, it looks like, you know, a little vintage -y, so I just see some thing in there. So I want to, you know, or just go like that, uh, to have that kind of look. So I will pause you and bring all three out and then take you for a close-up. Here is a close-up. I think that I can see these three um, canvases, kind of. Big canvases, you know, 24 by 24. On the wall with all three kind of techniques. This is the last one that I have almost, I don't have any negative space. I will say that the, the middle one is my favorite because it's still a lot of negative space but still enough colors or how can I say I definitely think that the first one I don't know it's maybe the last uh, interesting or something and I I did use the little different order here so but all three together I think that they look very interesting tell me what you think about it do you would you have combination of i don't know this and this or this and that and maybe another one like this on this side or which direction and of course if you even imagine this as a triptych in any, you know, um, variation or how can I say. So this is it for today and see you on the next one. Bye!